Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm at the Roman Agora here in uh, Athens. Let's go inside and take a look. Bye-bye. Okay, this is the Roman Agora. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. And so I bought this ticket, this $30 ticket, so it has access to these seven things. So I'm gonna go to all of them. I've already done the Acropolis. Next is the Ancient Agora. You know, do you think there's a pattern to my uh, craziness? Anyway, um, so then I'm gonna go to all these other ones. So let's go take a look. And it's amazing out front. Let me scoot back a little bit and you can get a better view of it all. Is that amazing or what? Anyway, okay. I'm gonna go inside and show my ticket and we'll be off to the races. Bye everybody. Okay. This is a Roman Agora. And I know that tower over there is called Tower of the Wind, I, I think. I say I know, but you know, <laughs> I get things wrong all the time. So let's see what this thing has to say. So this is this and we're at the roman agora so it used to be a square building like that hmm the acropolis ancient agora so roman agora library of adrian i'm gonna go there next but uh where's the ancient agora i gotta go there too um number two number two number two there's a three there's a four and a six and a five and a two. Huh, that doesn't look like much of nothing. Okay, but we'll see. The ancient gate of Athena Argitis to the right of the church Sotira of Pazaporta. Taxes. Okay, and you can read this. I'll hold for a second. You guys can pause as you need to. rectangle building 111 meters so what is that like uh, 300 feet by 300 feet 330 feet maybe cool Roman Agora was destroyed okay so this so it must have gone because these pillars are still here so it must have gone this whole length of this area and then all the way over here and then all the way, so it must have just been this huge rectangular building. Huh. It's a hot, muggy day today. Drippy wet. So yeah, so that must have been the the corner. So this, I would have guessed that these walls here weren't here. Because if it was 111, you know, I can imagine this being 111 and then 100 that way. So it probably wouldn't, it's probably, maybe that's the halfway point because that was considered the gate, right? So if that's the gate, maybe that's the halfway point. So this was all destroyed or <laughs> reclaimed for businesses. feedback I pan too fast so I'll try to slow it down so this is how tall it would have been and it didn't have it it was open in the middle so it would have been it had been roofed this whole section would have been roofed and pillars on both sides like this kind of like but with a roof and it looks like they had notches up there. So maybe they put wood or something across the top there. And it was probably that long, at least that long. Pan a little slow with her. Um, because this is the corner right here. Let's go stand in the corner. Man, it's where I lived in high school, in the corner. Um, 
So this is the corner. And so you can imagine that this was probably 111 meters, 333 feet. And this was um, 100 meters, so that's 300 feet. And this would have been all enclosed. It's pretty amazing. Of here and probably a marble floor just like this the whole entire thing huh <laughs> it's just amazing to think about isn't it and steps up so it didn't flood drainage ditch so the water would flow wow how you doing Thank you. How are you? outstanding These must have been little shops or something, I guess, huh? Yeah, because these are little rooms right off of it. So this must have been shops or businesses, stores, houses maybe? There's some more information over there. Let's go take a peek at that too. Well, there's a lot of information here. Let's go look at, we'll go to this one. It's in the shade. <laughs> Of cleaning the organic deposit. Hmm. I'll let you read this. And you know the words, right? P O N. <laughs> Pause as needed. Oh, P A N. And this is what this would have looked like a community around this thing, huh? And this tells all about this place here. And I was right, Tower of the Winds. I'll go ahead and read that. Octagon edifice, 13.8 meters in total height. So three times 15 is what? 45 feet tall. During the Byzantine era, church 13th, 14th century, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And what are these words? The Horologian of Andronicos of... <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of, a lot of things there. And so you can see, you know, these had to have been businesses off the main square because this would have been a major structure, a major temple or something. Pretty amazing, huh? Let's get to this one and take a peek. Okay. Oh, public latrines. Oh, that's what this is here, right in front of me. So see the square? And they had pillars on each corner. This would have been the bathroom. And that's that right there. With a pillar and a pillar and a pillar and a pillar. And this is like a pool or something. And this is where the poo and stuff would flow maybe. Because it had to have running water to it. Oh, and there's the toilet seat right there. So it had been lined with those toilet seats with holes in them. Do you see that? So that's a, that's a pooer. Well, I guess for ladies it's a... It's a peer. <laughs> it's a pee and a pooper. Anyway, let's not go here, Clark. Um, but this whole building would have been lined with it. And then I guess maybe they just got in the middle and cleaned. I don't know. I can't imagine they had Charmin back then. Does it say anything about it? It's a rectangular building with an oblong lobby and the rectangle hall, which is... Uh, with round holes around all four sides. It was roofed except for the above area in the center of the great hall with lightning and ventilation. Running water, which flushed away the waste product, that's the poo and the pee, through a deep peripheral canal in the first century. It is intended to serve the public. 
So I guess you had to get really comfortable with uh, <laughs> the guy next to you. How's your wife, Bob? Oh, he's, she's great, she's great. I think that's a mole on your leg. Yeah, you better get it looked at. Okay, okay. All right. So we'll leave them there to go potty. And this is the Tower of the Wind. And the sides are amazing. We'll take a peek inside, shall we? Those are some big steps, girl. Uh, no entry. Huh. So the round thing in the middle is the keyway, I guess, huh? And then all of them just kind of fell in on that keyway and supported it. And it's interesting, this room back here. And then what's the center for? Huh. Pretty neat. Let's go around this way and see what's over this way. A little building, huh? Okay. Huh. Let's go see if there's any more things to read before we vacate. Ooh, there's one more. Uh, nope. This is. 1392 BC, Ted and Dave built this place to have fun with and fly radio controlled planes. Their mom and dad didn't like that. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Okay. I guess that's it. Let's go look at the back side, I guess. Just to make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, hey, look at that. We would have missed it. Okay. Here's the hole. The central section of the floor of the monument. View of the roof. We got all that. Roof plaques as resting on the... Ep so that's the roof still. Fresco. Let's see what it says here. Can you read that for us? The heart The holes that were used for mounting the whole mechanism, the hydraulic mechanism, which was installed in the interior and a cutting rear interior for water supply, conduits. So is it like a, just a big windmill pump type thing? Maybe that's why it was the wind, huh? But also for fixing the... Uh, huh. Okay. So it must have been a some kind of water pump or something. I guess the wind would blow and hydraulics would turn. Hydraulic is water, right? And it had to have wind or something, unless, unless somebody was inside turning it. Okay. Well, everybody, this is the Roman Agora. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> Bye, everybody.